Hey everyone, David here from Custom PC, and today I'm going to talk about my new microphone here, which is the MXL 990 microphone. What I'll be doing in this video here is I'll be doing a sound test of the 990 microphone along with the Logitech C920 webcam, which I'm using now, along with this headset here, which is the GameCon Plantronics 367 gaming headset. Um, then I will show you what comes along in this recording package, which includes the MXL 990. And 991 and according to musician's friend the MXL 990 and the MXL 991 recording mic package is one of our one-stop mic kits for vocals drum overheads acoustic guitars and more these two studio grade condenser microphones cover a wide range of sources and frequent recording conditions you may encounter in the studio the MXL 990 offers a silky, sweet, high-end, and solid bass response that is perfect for recording a variety of voices, while the MXL 91 excels at tracking acoustic guitars, drum overheads, and more. Both microphones feature gold-sputtered diaphragms which create a professional sound perfectly suited for digital and analog recording. And the package comes tucked away in a high-impact carrying case with mic stand adapters for each microphone. This is a valuable addition to any microphone locker. I wanted to quickly point out that I will not be um, providing all kinds of information on the Logitech webcam or the gaming headset. Or I will not be doing a sound test for the 991 condenser microphone because I am basically focusing on the vocals which is what the 990 is designed for and the others are designed for acoustic you know guitars and instruments and stuff like that so just keep that in mind this first test here is the Logitech C920 um, webcams microphone which has dual microphones for, supposedly for the stereo this is with the right sound feature on this audio test is for the Logitech C920 webcam with the right sound feature off. This test here is for my gaming headset, which is the GameCon Plantronics 367. Now, because you can tell from the audio test, there's some big differences from the microphones and stuff like that. Now, I wanted to point out, now I will put up some um, details on this microphone here, the MXL 990. And I'll put that up here so that you can read the information and the specs of each one. Now, I will include the 991's information here as well. Now, with it, if you notice, um, if you look up this package online, let's say eBay, Amazon, or from Musician's Friend themselves, um, this package should cost about $100 for both microphones in the box with the adapters for each stand or each mic for the stands. Now, there's some requirements here that in something else you see different. I'm using a desktop mic stand here, and that's only temporary because I'm going to be in a, using a boom later, or an arm, some people like to call them. Now, some requirements that make it sound a lot better would be this here, which is a pop filter. Now, these are not very expensive at all. This one here is like, like $10 or so on eBay, and if you also look online, this is a shock mount for this microphone, which does not come with the MXL 990 and 981 um, package. It just comes with a smaller one, which is this here, and I didn't like that, and so I ordered this one here off eBay, which this here cost about $18 from China. Now, I bought it from China because one's in the United States, would be about $35 and I figured I could wait a little bit no big deal so I ordered this one here and it's a great stand or you know adapter for that so no worries there now also something to point out um, a lot of people are going to ask what I'm using for an interface because these microphones here consider condenser microphones they require a 48 volt phantom power now you're going to need some kind of um, interface to um, power it. Now I'm using a mixing board which is a Yamaha MX12-4. Now 
From there, I'm using a cord, which goes from the cor uh, yeah the quarter inch jack to USB to the computer. Now, I also wanted to point out that I do have the limiter and a noise gate on with this microphone. Now, I can shut those off, which I will do now, and you can hear the raw audio coming from the microphone with no enhancements whatsoever. This is straight with no um, effects whatsoever. I can get back farther here and you can hear me. The noise gate prevents um, background sound and stuff like that which is really convenient to have. Um, and of course the limiter itself um, will allow my voice to stay at one level, not get too low and not get too high. Now we'll turn those back on. Okay, well to show you what we have here in the box, this is the Black Harden um, Impact plastic case. Now they do have a, a gray case which is a newer style and it has surface mount capacitors and stuff like that, um, but that doesn't have any difference with quality and stuff like that. But when you open the case here you see you have the 990 and the 991 condenser microphones um, with to um, adapters for each mic and as you can see here the 991 is uh, great for vocals which is what I'm using right now to deliver this kind of quality now this microphone here is aluminum now you can see here with the MXL logo that is the front of the microphone and you want to be facing that side of the microphone when doing vo you know, voiceovers and stuff like that um, the back part won't deliver as good quality, and that's a very important thing when dealing with that. Now, you also see here that it requires an LXR cable to deliver the 48 volt phantom power. And it comes with the um, first adapter here, which comes in two pieces, which is a metal piece and a plastic piece. Now, you gotta make sure these both are together, and to put it on is very simple. You just slide it over the bottom and screw on. Now, this wasn't very good due to vibrations, you know, from a mic stand of any sort and stuff like that, so it wasn't ideal. But when you do order um, the regular 990 microphone without the 991, you would get the other shock mount which I have bought and I have shown which I will show here and this one here is completely aluminum with these uh, elastic bands on it to absorb the vibrations and it cradles right in the center so it reduces the amount of the vibrations now it's easy to put in you just open the clamp and slide on it's very simple compared to the other one where you have to, to screw the other piece on. Now these do come with um, stand adapters for different types of mic stands. But I love the MX-990 990 for the vocals and stuff like I'm using now. But the 991 here is great for instruments of all different types. You know, when it comes to guitars, um, you can put this in front of an electric guitar's amp, and it will pick up pretty good audio from that as well. But you see from the top here, that's the main um, diaphragm, and you have some vents in the side there to deliver some more sound. But you can see it also requires the LXR cable to deliver 48 volts of the phantom power. Now, this one only comes with the one adapter, which is basically completely plastic, except for the one metal screw you can see on the side. Now, this one is simple to put in. You just slide it in here, and it's a nice, tight fit. Now, they do offer some other um, stands for the, or you know, some adapters for this, um, but you have to shop online for those, considering it's a small diameter microphone. But this one here is good, definitely good for all kinds of instruments and stuff like that. But the case here is nicely um, foamed to keep it from everything from moving around if you have to transport it in any other locations and stuff like that would be ideal, you know, for storage and stuff like that as well. All right, well, so that's the 990 um, condenser microphone from MXL, and I hope this information here is very useful 
to you and um, if you like this video please click that like button right down below also if you want to see some other videos or you have some ideas for some other videos comment below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can also if you like to subscribe to my channel you will get updates on my other videos when I post them if you like this video like I said give it a like and I will see you in my next video thanks <laughs>